Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl Debbie from Dunga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. Tons and tons of you when you ride on over here. Special welcome. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepare some split peas and rice. Never use white rice, but I guess you could use brown rice. You could use parboiled, whatever you want to use. Okay? This is something that we don't see being prepared very often nowadays. You know? So, I've got here some split peas. Mind you, there are some brighter color ones. But back in the day, this was the color. But nowadays, there are some brighter color ones. I do have some of that brighter color one. But I just could not find, put my hand on it. So, I decided to use this one. So... What you're going, what you need is your split peas. You're going to need your rice, but you want to have your rice being the same amount as when your split peas is soaked. So what I did, this is the split peas before it was washed and soaked. This is how it looks. Okay. They are really chewy, but when they are put to pre-soak, this is what happens. So right on over here. I have pre-soaked some split peas. Let me show you. Now that I've pre-soaked it, this is how it is. As soon as you prick it, prick it with your, your finger, it is cooked. Now this is the one that is not soaked as yet. You can't use, let me show you. It's, that, it's not that easily broken because it's tough. So you have got to pre-soak it. Now that I've pre-soaked it, I did pre-soak it with a little salt, just a teeny bit of salt. Okay, so I'm going to get my flame up and I'm going to treat it as I treat a little rice and peas. I'm going to get some hot water going on right on over here. I've got here a little salt fish. This is not a seasoned rice. Mind you, this split peas and rice, it can't turn in a seasoned rice. But I'll give that to you in another video. And you know I'm, you're going to be hearing some noise as I pre-eat my kettle. So I'm saying you could turn it into a split peas um, seasoned rice. Probably I'll show you that in another video. Or you could I just use your, you can just use the egg. But what I want to do with this split peas, I just want to put a little pre-soaked salt fish in there. Debone pre-soaked salt fish just to get a little flavor there. So... Look at me here now. I put it in there. Remember, I got my flame up. And I like that. Probably my Caribbean brothers and sisters, they cook it a lot in like Trinidad, Barbados, all those other um, Caribbean countries. They cook it a lot. Jamaica shouldn't have cooked enough to, but I don't know what happened. So I've got two pegs of garlic here. I have already rinsed them. But I still can't give them another little rinse. I'm going to put it in there because now. It won't take long to cook as I've pre-soaked it a few hours. So I'm going to put it in there. Wait on it to come to a boil. I've got here a green pepper and I'm going to put it in there too. Could have cut it, but I don't. I'm not going to do that. A piece of fresh thyme right on here. And I'll be putting it right in there. I'm going to leave it right now to come to a boil. Whilst I go prepare some scallions, because you see it needs a little water. So, when we return, the, I'll add some extra water. It should be boiling. Add some extra water, and I'm going to be using some green scallions. And this, I'm going to be using our paddies to give it some flavor. If you don't want to use butter in yours, don't ask me, Miss Debbie, if I can't use butter. What I don't know, you have got to make that decision okay family whoever doesn't want to use the butter just make the decision you could also use coconut milk for to substitute water i don't have coconut milk and i'm just doing it as at the simplest way it's done this is the way i'm doing it. this is the very simplest way to do it probably in another video sometime to come i'll show you i'll go more in depth kind of notch it up a bit because this thing 
from your look from you see if you follow this video correctly or follow it closely you will see that it is a dish that you can take it to a real high level okay must soon come okay now family we are back and we're little split peas right here is boiling okay So we want to get in there now some excess water. Oops, so we are going to put that. Up. And remember to do it according to the amount of rice that you have. Now, as I said before, the point at which this split piece is when it was soaked, it is at the same point now with the rice. So you don't want to be cooking it too long. Because you don't want it to get all mushed out. So at this point, you can put in your rice. My rice was washed and properly trained. Okay? Now remember, we put in that little salted fish. And it was properly pre-soaked. And all of that. So you want to get this string, as I told you. Turn your flame down a bit. You want to get it all distributed with the rice. Everybody come all mixed in. And all of that. Now it is time to put in our scallions. And for me, I'm going to be putting in some of this thing here. I'm just going to put it in for a little extra flavor. But I like it and nice little taste. So let me use a spoon to put in some. Because I don't want all of this packet of stuff. I want some of the noodles. You don't have to do what I do. And some of the powder. So I think that is fine for me. So, you want to get it all distributed right in. The split peas and the rice, everything is there. Now, we want to put in some of this thing here, which is called butter. So, you put to your liking. Me want olive, come me want this thing here. Because I'm not going to eat this with any, any meat provision or anything. I'm just going to have it as it is with that nice because um pickled tears from the salt fish and all of that i just want to eat it as a little one pot dish so i'm gonna want to stress it out you know with no woolly pan up me just want to have it as it is because i know say as it is it's gonna be nice so you want to dissolve your butter very carefully and of course when your butter is properly dissolved you want to do your little tasting and all of that it's an easy very easy dish it is nutritious, but I don't know. Me never seen nobody cook this since me leave country. My mother used to cook it. It is good for soup stew. Look at me. Oh, the flavor is beautiful. So, you just go right around and you go right this. It's beautiful. Our Caribbean people know it. And people can comment and let us know. Share how you do yours in your country. There are so many ways to do this dish. There are so many things to use, split peas and cook. So now that it is there, all we need to do now is just to cover, put it on the moderate heat like oil or just steam milk or rice. And then when we return, this dish will be ready. Hot and nice, buttery, flavorful, where you can just eat, mix a glass of lemonade. Must soon come. Okay, now family, we are very much back. And let us first things first. Let us take a look at our split peas and rice. I'm going to be opening it up. And I like that. Looking really nice. But we are going to remove all our little herbs as we use to cook it. As I told you, I just treat it as rice and peas. And I like that. And you see me like a salt fish them in it, I green up. Let's remove our pepper. Look at it. You saw the big pepper I put in there? Look at the size. It has dwindled down too. So you know it's all flavors. Honey child, honey bunny. Yeah, it's flavors. We're talking about just simple flavors right here. Shoot them up, Dad. With all that little salt fish. You shouldn't have a little more to go. You don't know anything's bad. So we are talking about natural flavors. Now, we're going to get our flame right down right off i've chopped here um some green bell peppers you could chop orange you could chop yellow you could chop red no not yellow yellow wouldn't do it any good you could chop orange red or green i have green so i'm gonna be putting my little green in there right now 
right there now. And it is finished. And of course, the it flavor is a one pot thing. I'm going to be putting in a little more butter. I swear to God, the butter police, they more come for me. But guess what? Me, I'm going to make sure I say, me pay up all of my bills before no come for me. What I'm going to be doing right now, very gently, I'm going to be distributing right through this little green bell pepper. And it is just for additional flavoring. Right through with this little extra butter. That little green pepper will give it a little flavor. Don't do too much. And it will also give it a little gig. Now that we have done that, what we want to do is just, it's still hot. And I'll add that. You just want to cover it. The burner that it is on is still hot. Right there. Now it will stay hot for another 15, good 15 minutes. Let it stay there. Let the, 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 that additional, not eat. No, no flame, no, no, it, you know. Take the bell peppers and incorporate it into those already little herbsy flavors. And when we return, I'll have some plate up for you. I'll be tasting some for you. Not that you can taste it. I want to taste it to let you see. But me, me anxious for niam some. So I'm going to taste for you on camera. Me soon come back. That little time has elapsed. Now we are going right back in there. Still it has this nice little eat. We'll leave back. You want to use your metal spoon. I'm taking my time as I have a non-stick pot. And... How you want your rice depends on how you like your rice. If you want to dry it out a little more, let it get shelly, you can. I like my rice with a little moisture. That when I look at me here on the spoon and when I move it from the spoon, you see that nice little moisture inside of it. So this is how it is. Could take a little more salt fish. You could use salted mackerel in this. But make sure you clean up the mackerel properly and have it with a little arms. You know, you know how to clean your mackerel. We're going to plate up and return. And when we come back, me anxiously going to have some. Me soon come. We are back. And I've plated up some just for you. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table. To your plate and most of all to your stomach. It is split peas and rice. I prepared it for you. As easy as easy as it is. One, two, three. This is the one, two, three version. Please do enjoy. No, I want liquor. And of course, me take one basin pan. And me want one shovel. Hmm? A little piece of salt fish bone. And I like that. So, the very first thing, you don't want to eat this thing cold. A lot of people shy away from this thing because the split piece has this little, me know, you know, this little grainy act thing. You don't have to cook it until it comes to that. Look at me here. I. It is hot. But I want to go in my mouth. Kind of hot. Not too, too hot for you know. I don't like stew. I'm split peas, Debbie. I don't eat it. Come along, let me prepare some for you. With this little salt fish, with the crunch from the bell peppers, and not only the crunch, but the flavor from the fresh bell pepper. Not put it in there, make it cook out. You know what I'm saying? Remember, bell peppers can be eaten raw. Mm. When I try to end this video, I'm going to wrap up my good amount. Once more, please do enjoy. Now, if you have like this little stew, this, why do I keep saying stew peas? This little split peas and rice. If you have liked this video, if you have liked how I've prepared it, if you have some split peas in our cupboard, go take it out. Prepare yourself some. So I'm saying it is nutritious, it is easy. Make sure if you have liked it, remember to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not yet subscribed. When you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. And after you hit the bell, you're gone. Please stop and press 
the option that says all so you will be notified of all of my videos when I post. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support, overwhelming support. Thank you so, so much. I could not have been right where I am without your support. Thank you so much. Now, we have got our little merch going on and we are going to try to insert it as we go along. We are just starting, please. We beg for your support. Is it even a cup? We will be thankful and we'll be grateful. So we can go on to expand our wings and to give you more options for you to purchase. The link to our store will be in the description of the video and also all my information on how to get to me. Thank you for the love. Remember, we've got three more channels. We'll also link them. It is a new year. Remember to be you, do you, and most of all, love you. Happy cooking, happy eating, slash nyamming.